Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I thought that I would show you how I created Shadowbox Art. using my movie ticket stubs. I've been collecting these movie ticket stubs uh, since forever. I have some movie ticket stubs that go back as far as 2002. I always knew I wanted to do something creative with these movie tickets and today I'm going to show you what I've done. You may not know this about me, but I am an avid movie goer. I enjoy it. It is one of my favorite pastimes. Um, I go quite often. As a matter of fact, I'm a self-proclaimed movie critic. I have my finger on the pulse of what's a hit and what's a miss, at least in my mind. So I decided that I will share with you how I created conversational art by putting the movie tickets in a shadow box. I'm not exactly sure where I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to place it, but I do know I want it to be someplace where I receive guests. Again, conversational art. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to show you what I've done and I'm glad you're interested in seeing. So let's get started. Hey guys, first thing we're gonna do is open my shadow box. I got this shadow box from Michaels and um, it was on sale for $10. Plus I had a coupon. So I'm not sure what I actually end up paying. I'd have to find the receipt to see what the actual amount ended up being. So I just got to move these tabs. Okay. So now the first thing I want to do is I've got to cut out. I didn't want the felt paper. I did not. I decided I did not want this to be black. I wanted it to either be this color or I wanted it to be gray. I hadn't decided which one. I want it. So I'm going to cut out both and see which one I like best. Okay. So again, I'm not sure which one I like better. So. I'm going to take a little E6000. I know it takes E6000 a minute to dry, but I think it'll be okay. Just, just dots. Not a lot. And I'm going to take, um, these are stickers. I also got these at Michael's as well. I thought they were really cute because they denote, you know, the movie and the, the popcorn and the admit one. I thought that was so cute. I thought that would go really well. And these are what gave me the idea to go with this as opposed to a flat, um, flat color. Well, right, and then I will take.
Okay, so now I'm going to tape the ones that are going to be right here in the front. I'm going to tape them together so as it moves around and sloshes around, they don't lose their placement. Because those are going to be right in the front and I want them to stay as they are. Right? And then I'm going to take some for the back and it'll be... I'm going to turn them like that. I like that one right there. So now I'm just going to lay some of these out and um, use a pin. Like that. And then I'll just lay the rest of them on top. So I took a little bit of tape and I taped a couple of those that are going to sit in the back. I kind of taped them up a little higher than the rest. So again, just kind of trying to position a few so that you can see what it says. Suicide Squad, Tomorrowland, Jurassic Park, Girls Trip, Jason Bourne, Loopers. So... Now I'm going to stick the back on it. Let's see. Oh, that turned out cute. Kingsman, Maze Runner. Tomorrowland. Some of the ones that were down in here, though, I, I didn't get. They're not as seen as well. Maze Runner. Now you see me. I think that is so cool. Now I'm going to take and put some now I'm going to take and put some of the stickers I have left on the outside. And um, I don't know where I'm going to put them. I'm just going to place them for now and see where I want to put them. I know I want these on opposite corners. Definitely, oops, definitely would like that one there. I can see that there. I could see all done guys I think that turned out super cute I really love it I wasn't able to use all of my movie tickets because of the size of the shadow box but that's okay I, I've got uh, about half of them in there and that works that works as well. And I thought about getting a larger box, but I didn't think I had enough tickets to fill it up. But I see that I could have gotten a 9x9 nine nine and been just fine. This turned out so cute. I'm really pleased with the way that it looks. I really am. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And by all means, don't forget to have a blessed day. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Um, this was one of the inserts to the phone case that I did in my previous video.
I think you'll like it. Go check it out.